All right, this is the backside, a little amp horn of the um, Miko 75 that I recently uh, picked up. Uh, I'm done with it. I went through it. I didn't try to make it super pretty, um, but I did get it working. Um, only thing wrong with it was the um, caps. Um, it had two 450 volt caps, and they had them uh, in parallel on a voltage doubler circuit. Uh, uh, so they had that totally goofed up. Uh, with somebody had uh, recapped it and uh, uh, put the polarity of one of them in wrong. And plus, um, I said on the uh, video I made of it when I first got it that. Um, I kept saying it runs on 900 volts, it runs on 900 volts. And the two 450 volt caps, even if they were put in right, would be um, at or past their maximum voltage rating. So I put um, two pairs in series. So uh, each leg has 900 volts, so a total of 1800 volts. So I got double the safety rating. I did have to double the capacitance of the caps. Um, when you put two in series, you lose half your capacitance. Capacitance. So we did that. There's a little point one, that white one there. Cap that uh, it wasn't bad, but I didn't trust it because um, that also goes to the uh, the Mako uses a weird way to get the negative bias. They use a high voltage winding. And they use like a um, lead off it, and they trickle it off um, going through that cap. That's how they get the uh, negative bias. And this circuit underneath it there is the uh, negative bias circuit. So we put a new one in there, in there, and that pot in there. Um, that's the way it came, so I'm going to leave it, but, uh, that adjusts, adjusts the negative bias, which, uh, you know, turn up the dead key up and down with that, and normally that's on the front, which I'll turn it around in a second, but this one they put a, a, a um, tune cap as well as the uh, low cap it already has on the front, and you can see over here, um, that variable there added is the tune and this is the uh, load from the factory there and that's your uh, tank coil so they they um, move that cap not the cap that pot which is normally there and they put in that small one down there and then they put in a uh, tune cap so you can tune and load this and that's all I'm going to show here I wanted to talk about. Um, so we're going to carefully turn her over. And that's the front side of it. Um, didn't cleaned up pretty good. You know, it's not meant like those marks there. Um, I think that's like glue like somebody tried to glue on a, a sticker or something so uh, you know we were trying to get that off but we started peeling the uh, vinyl off so we're gonna leave that you know alone but you know cleaned up pretty good put some elbow grease in this I'm not a master cleaner upper you know I'm I'm I think I'm good at fixing but uh there's some people who can you know go through these things and make them look minty but that's that's not me you know, we get a toothbrush, a little alcohol, a little orange power, and do some wiping and cleaning, and that's about far as I'm going to go with them. And also, this one has been, you know, modded. They put in all these um, lights up here, and this is like a pilot or on light. And these lights here, these other four, I guess are tied to this uh, transmit light, so they be uh, flashing with the modulation. So I guess whoever... Uh, modded this uh or somebody wanted a light show still a lot of work if you can see the wiring in there 
all that, you know, to go to the lights. Um, we did clean the bottom some. Came out decent, you know, it ain't mint, but uh, look a lot better than it did. It didn't have a parasitic um, choke resistor in, or suppressor in there, so actually the um, high voltage was uh, wire was soldered right onto the top of the tube. It didn't even have a tube cap when I originally got it, and it had 89.50 in it, so we put in a M2057 since I had one, and uh, put in a plate cap and a parasitic suppressor on there and cleaned it up and the way she went so anyway we're gonna warm it up yeah. also this here switch turns the fan off and on but that fan is a little noisy maybe that's why they put a switch on it and I had another one with a noisy fan and somebody said put some oil on it well I did but um, you know 40 50 year old fan it probably uh, could be replaced maybe one day I'll put in a uh, you know a low volume box fan but not today we just wanted to get it going and show it going and um, sit this thing on the bench actually this um, all the way down here is the preamp on and in the middle is standby and then all the way up is uh, operate with the uh, preamp off um, and the preamp does work on this one so anyway we was gonna put it on standby and uh, 4 watt radio going through it's going to 20 watt scale going into a dummy load two and a half watts only swinging a five and look at that with the dummy load this um, amp doesn't mess with your input SWR got a um, flat match some amps when you put them in line um, even in standby your input SWR goes up so we kind of like that and last we're gonna put it on operate let's go to the 200 watt scale over here and uh, we're on average yeah, hopefully everything is uh, good to go and we're gonna key her down so we did key in about 25 200 watt scale so we ain't about one or whistling to about 160 audio blowing to about 90 and uh, talking about uh, 50 60 And that's on average. And last we're gonna put it on peak. I didn't even try it on peak myself. Audio, yeah. Put the 200 watt scale in the corner on peak. One, two, mind you. Hello, 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 hello. Audio, 300 watt peak, and that's talking. Big difference between peak and average talking wise, isn't it? Hello, hello, hello. You know, 50 watts talking on average, and um 300 audio talking on peak and hello 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 <laughs> hopefully you can see that light show there I got a lot of bright lights on in here cuz I'm getting old and I need the light but I'm <laughs> flashing with the modulation and it's hard to see the blue well I guess you can see it in the camera there I don't like the blue but um I don't dislike it enough to change that so anyway that's gonna be it on this one two Mako 75 with that big bad M2057 in there it was doing about 175 you know a little more than half of that when I had that original 8950 in there but I had a uh, M2057 look like new at 100% and uh, there it is. Hello, 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 hello. 300 watts all day long on this um, 1M2057 tube. Make go 75. All right. That's it for this one. In the closet it goes. Bye.